Hi everyone. Um, so I just want to talk about what uh, what's happening in Gaza right now. And uh, I I talked about it yesterday. I was I was uh, following the news and what's happening between Gaza and Israel. It seems like Israel has blockaded uh, Gaza completely. So no food, no water, no electricity. Nothing comes in or out of Gaza. So this is this is going to be like a humanitarian situation, which is really going to get worse. Um, I really want to talk about very quickly first. I want to talk about the people from the from both sides, the people from the Israeli side who are saying like you know they are animals, they're not humans. Let's just destroy Gaza. Let's kill two million people. It doesn't matter. We don't care. They are animals. They are terrorists, etc., etc. And there's also people from the Palestinian side. And when you ask them, when you say to them, please just condemn the 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 Hamas attack. Um, you know, call them call them. For, for what they are, terrorists, basically. And they target civilians, they kill, they kill civilians. They, they are terrorists. They, they, they're scum. They don't deserve any sympathy. Um, even, you know, and I was talking about this yesterday in the video, like even if the, there are, uh, let's say, mit mitigating circumstances, but that, that doesn't mean that they're not terrorists. Um, and the, the, the people from the Palestinian side would, would say, no, I will not, I will not entertain this question. I will not. Uh, condemn what happened I will need to to explain what happened and why it happened which is really like something that is like both sides know and they know it well so it it really doesn't help so there's there's a lot of bad uh, blood obviously and there's a lot of history there um, but the situation seems to be like getting worse and worse and and I think what's coming next is gonna probably make what happened at the start in the first two days of the conflict is going to make it into into like a, like an anecdote to the to the whole conflict because there's so many innocent people going to die. Um, I mean, right now Israel is preparing for for ground assault. Gaza, like like I mentioned yesterday, and I made a mistake, just slip off the tongue. I said 20 million. It's actually two million, two million people, but they're very crowded in a very uh, small piece of land, and the 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 idea of going into this. Um, and doing what, what is basically an urban warfare is going to be absolutely catastrophic because there's so many innocent people going to die, so many hostages are going to die. So I think the best way forward is probably for um, some some mediation, for um, for Israel to kind of halt their 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 ground offensive, not not to start or delay the ground offensive which hasn't started yet, but they are building up to it. Um, if Egypt can can or or even Saudi Arabia or even Jordan, if they can come as as mediators and they can talk to to uh, Hamas and they can talk to um, uh, Iran and in this case obviously they will have demands. So Hamas probably gonna want um, a lot of uh, of their prisoners out of Israeli jails, uh, which is you know like fair enough in order to release the hostages and stop the bloodshed and then maybe there would be some form of compromise and then this whole thing that's going to unfold in the next few weeks it doesn't need to happen and and the the, the people is, is going to suffer needlessly they don't need to suffer and maybe there's there's a way around with with diplomacy from there on we we might need to talk about the uh, the future of of the situation and I'm not saying anything which is like, you know, I'm, maybe I'm a bit naive. Well, I am actually naive. I'm not a diplomat. I'm not a journalist. I'm not, I don't do politics very well. But at the same time, I feel like there's, there's, there's a way forward here. There's, a, there's an opportunity here to, to change the way things are. Um, I know politicians love war. And, and the military industrial complex, whether it's in Israel or in the United States, they love war because it's 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 good business. Good war is good business. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, if people put enough pressure on their leaders, they, they can they can get them to to uh, to do what they want. And and it makes sense to go back to the, you know, the Oslo Accord and, and, and give Palestinians the right to to uh, self-determination, basically, and an independent state. Um, and in the occupation, we're talking about West Bank, obviously, and and uh, and the Golan Heights, which belong to Syria. Like like I mentioned yesterday, I'm 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 a Syrian. I live in Syria right now, so I know all about it. It it's uh, it's a Syrian land which has been taken by Israel in 1967. Uh, so it's 
I think it's really important to to uh, to to find a way out and 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 a big part. If we're talking, if if any Israeli person, and I'm happy to talk to any, I have I have a few. I, I actually I used to have a friend who was Israeli when I was living in London, um, and and I meet Israeli people when I when I travel. So, if any Israeli wants to ask me, like you know, what wants wants to say, like how do you how do you propose? We get rid of Hamas. How do you propose? Because obviously Hamas is a threat. And, and I mentioned yesterday in the video, Hamas played a major part. Well, not a major part, but maybe they played their part in the Syrian um, civil war and, and, and in, in the destruction. And they attacked Syrian army and, and they killed Syrian people. Uh, and they did a lot of horrible stuff. And, and the response was, was quite violent, just like Israel, actually. It was quite violent. It was quite brutal. And... and, and uh, some people would say, like, you know, it needed to be done. But again, I, I, I don't think this is the case. But this is what happened anyway. So if we are thinking about how can we eliminate Hamas. So eliminating Hamas is never going to be a military uh, solution. There will never be a military solution for Hamas. It's, it's, it's really, it's actually the counterproductive. What's going to happen is, for example, if Israel goes into Gaza, they kill 200,000 people, 300,000 people, uh, maybe less. Um, they will kill a lot of innocent civilians and then they're going to turn their relatives, the, their neighbors into uh, Hamas members. And, and, and this is the case. This is what happens all the time. And I've, I've seen it happen in Syria when the Syrian regime bombed a certain area indiscriminately and then you will, you will have people joining ISIS and, and, uh, and you will also have people joining ISIS for, for, uh, because they, they, they can't afford uh, food anymore so they need to to feed their family so they join ISIS even even if ideologically speaking they're not really aligned with with uh, such extreme uh, ideology so these two things you know the 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 question of economy the question of dignity that I was talking about in the video yesterday the question of allowing people to live freely and to have access to jobs and to have access to opportunities and to have like like a normal life and, and, and possibilities for travel and possibilities for education etc 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 um and also investing in education so so uh, so so what i'm talking about i'm talking about israel um acknowledging the the, uh, the palestinian land um ending the occupation finding finding uh, finding a solution for settlements and then allowing gaza supporting gaza basically and and the west bank in order to to uh, to become self-reliant and and in order to uh, to, to flourish because once they flourish basically what, what happens is a combination of education and an economy would basically mean that very few people are going to be interested in joining Hamas or any or ISIS or Al-Qaeda or any other terrorist organization because obviously these ter again I'm speaking from experience as someone who, who lived in Syria for a long time and I lived abroad as well and I've seen how it works and, and I've seen the motivation behind people joining these terror groups it's always a combination of um, of um, oppression and and uh, the wrong again you know this is something I spoke about in the, in the video yesterday the wrong that went on for too long and the uh, the economic opportunities so if you if you do these things then I, I believe Hamas will have a very very little sympathy because every time they're going to be there will always be a fringe uh like uh, nutters and, and crazy people and murderers and scum that's that's inevitable but it's not going to be hamas is not going to be as big as as it is now um if you go into gaza if you do the things you say you say you're going to do um i believe hamas is going to be so much bigger so much stronger and 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 even across the region um you will have so much um anger like across the, the Islamic world and the Arab world and, and a lot of people would think about joining even if they're not thinking about it now but they will they will think about joining uh, extremist or organizations and, and doing the jihad thing which is absolutely nuts um, so th this this is just a quick video just, just my thoughts on, on what's happening right now and 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 hopefully you know hopefully the the again we, we can only hope that the voice of reason would prevail unfortunately because we have right wing against right wing this is an explosive situation and at the back of it there's the military industrial complex and the profit uh, and the war merchants and the war profiteers um, and the blood merchants and the blood profiteers 
and they they they're not gonna let it go without such a golden opportunity to make to make millions of dollars so maybe this is not gonna um you know it's not it's not gonna end well it's gonna be really really bad